what up YouTube G4 Elite here once again and this video is answering a question you know not a particular question that a person have but it's a question that people been asking and the people are females you know and I found it funny that you know that they ask this question you know they of all people asking this question so I think I'll do them a favor and answer that shit you know um but basically the question they ask all the time, no matter what, is what happened to all the nice guys? <laughs> they ask that shit. They ask what happened to all the nice guys, you know. And that shit's an interesting question. You know, it's interesting to a lot of guys when girls ask that shit. You know, so first of all, to the ladies, you know, I, I really do want to ask them something, you know. Um, have they ever had a particular male friend, right? Um, not that good looking, whether they was really short, really, or really fat, <laughs> or had braces, acne, greasy hair, they, it was something to the extent that there was something wrong with them, and you had this friend since you was a little kid, right, you know, they always been around you, y'all been friends since y'all was little, you know, y'all had that close friendship that, it, it, you saw him as a brother, you know, have you had that friend? You know, I know indeed all females have had that friend, you know. And as y'all grow up together, eventually y'all hit puberty. Eventually y'all go off from middle school, 8th grade-ish, to high school and shit like that. And y'all go on together. And y'all start doing, well, you start dating, <laughs> you know. um, And you end up dating a specific type of guy. You know, that good-looking guy that seems mysterious and shit. You know, um, he looked like Channing Tatum looking ass nigga. You know, that's the guy you always go for. But somehow, he always was an asshole to you. You know, and no matter how much he mistreated you, who did you always run back to? That same friend, right? That same friend that, um, uh, that you grew up with, that same close friend that you saw like a brother, you know, um, that's who you always ran back to, right, every time that good looking nigga would cheat on you, abuse you mentally, physically, whatever he would do, no matter what he would do to you, and you would go run to your friend and tell him what happened, he'll comfort you, he'll make you smile when you think you can't smile anymore, he'll do all these sweet romantic things to make you smile, you know, all these clever things that most niggas wouldn't even do, he do it for you to make you smile, and you see him as a really great friend, you know, and finally when you're okay again after that good friend of yours, then brought you back to your feet, he picked you up when you was down on the ground, what do you do after that? You run back to that good looking nigga again, <laughs> the dude that abused you time and time again. You run back to him, so he could do, so he could serve you with that same bullshit again, and you just take it. After you get hurt again, right? This normally happens, right? You get hurt again, and what do you do? You run back to that friend, that friend you see that's like a brother to you, you know. And finally, he gets tired of seeing you hurt, you know. And he didn't have these feelings for a long time that he see you more than just a friend and a best friend. He he like you, you know. He really like you. He really wants to see you happy. He don't want to see you cry anymore. He wants to do everything to make you happy. You know, and he finally gets enough courage to approach you in the most romantic way possible that blows most people's minds. And what do you do? You tell him, oh, no, I don't like you that way. I see you more as a friend. You're more like my little brother. You're more like my brother. And what do you do after you crush him and do that shit? Then you go run back to the good looking guy, or maybe a new good looking guy that's, that looks just as good but treats you just as bad or maybe worse, then that's who you run to. And eventually, that best friend that <laughs> was like a brother to you finally gets fed up and he leaves. He don't want to talk to you no more. He don't want to be friends with you no more. He don't want to have no contact with you anymore. And you don't understand why, you know? 
you're oblivious to why he feel that way. But he do. So after high school and shit, high school pass and shit, it's been a couple years since you and your that best friend has talked. You know, y'all both have matured up and finally you run into that friend again. And wow, did he look good looking now. Eventually, that fat dude lost the weight. Eventually, that short kid got tall. Eventually, that kid with that acne, his acne cleared up. Eventually, they got good looking. They got tall. They got handsome. You know, they matured. After they hit puberty and shit, they matured. They um started taking pride in how they look. You know, they went on that diet. They got that proactive and shit. They, like I said, they did everything to make their appearance better. And finally, that's when you notice him. That's finally when you notice him. You like, wow, I don't know why I never gave this guy a chance before. You know? And finally, you ask him out. You approach him, right? And after you approach this guy, it's all good and shit, right? Up until he starts cheating on you. Until he starts mentally abusing you. And he starts physically abusing you and shit. And then you just sit here confused, hurt, and crying, asking yourself, damn, what happened to all the good guys? What happened to all the nice guys? Ain't that how it happened? Well, bitch, <laughs> let me tell you what happened to the nice guy. The nice guy got tired of being rejected. The nice guy got tired of being turned down so you could go be with a good-looking asshole. That nice guy got tired of putting in all this effort, you know, to try to get you to like him. And someone who good looking puts in not even a whole percent of what he put in and he gets you wrapped around his finger. That's what happened to the nice guy. You taught him a lesson. You taught him that it don't matter how hard you try. It don't matter how much effort you put in. It don't matter how sweet you are, how nice you are. You taught him none of this shit matters. What you taught him was... The only thing that matters is appearance. How attractive a man is. That's what you taught him. You taught him that he don't have to respect a woman to get her. So he stopped respecting women. And you know what? Now he's out here fucking a bunch of oblivious girls, hurting all these girls. And all these other females are asking the same question. What happened to all these nice guys? And frankly, what happened to all these nice guys was you. You happen to the nice guys. They don't exist anymore because of you. What you taught them. You know, you taught them how to be shallow. You taught them these things. So, before you get to asking this question, what happened to all the nice guys? You gotta think. They was right behind you. You just never gave them a chance. You never turned around to give them that time of day because your ass was shallow. And that's why you sitting there hurt today asking that question. You're to blame. You know, just me keeping it real with you, you're to blame. The moral of this is, I'm not trying to pick on nobody. I'm not trying to make anyone feel bad and shit. But the moral of this shit is, stop being shallow. You want somebody who, you want somebody to treat you good. There's somebody already treating you good, desperately begging you for a chance. And you won't give it to them because of these nitpicking little reasons. You know, these stupid little reasons, you know. So moral of this shit is, there's somebody, no matter who you are, always chasing you, you know, and you're always chasing somebody. Instead of chasing after somebody, why don't you turn around and look at the person who's chasing you, the person who's jumping through all these hoops to have you? Why don't you do that shit first, you know, before you get to sitting there asking, what happened to all the nice guys? You know, but anyways, I'm done with this video. I'm sorry I got a little bit of worked up in this shit, but anyways, I'm about to get out of here. Like my new Facebook fan page. Um, if you haven't already, it will be in the descriptions. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. G4 Liddy here, signing off. Thank you for watching.